Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for March 5th. We're going to take a look at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get a little bit closer to the chart. There we go. Now, this pair closed down today. It is moving sideways and the bias is sideways currently. We are looking for this pair to move potentially as high as 151 and as low as 96.73. Do look for some resistance around the 100 area and look for some support around 97.43 in this particular pair. Now let's take a look at the Euro USD. This pair moved uh, much lower today, uh, moving sideways for the most part, biased to sideways. We are expecting this pair to move potentially as high as 127.91 and as low as 123.50. Look for some resistance around the 126.35 level and look for some support around 12500 in this particular pair. Switching to the pound US dollar pair, this pair we're expecting to move uh, as high as 143.87 and potentially as low as 138.34. Look for some resistance around 14200 and look for support around 14050 in this particular pair. It is moving sideways and the bias is definitely sideways. Now switching to the US Swiss, this pair closed up today uh, but did pull back significantly prior to the close. This pair is moving sideways and the bias is moving sideways as well. We are expecting this pair to move as high as 119.09 or potentially as low as 115.45 in this particular example. Look for some resistance in this pair around 117.58. Look for support around the 1.1600 level. Well, that about does it for, the, for uh, that part of the charts. Let's take a look at what I'm looking for during this next session. Uh, real quick, the U.S. Canadian uh, that we had yesterday looking for the swing trade did not hit at all. It actually formed an inside bar, uh, but we'll get to that here in a minute. The Euro USD pair uh, formed a swing trade that we're looking for between these two sessions. Draw your trend. Looking for a break above at 126.57 uh, for this pair. Looking for it to move higher up to the uh, up to this level right here, the 1.2645 level, which would be almost, uh, uh, be roughly 88 pips, somewhere in there uh, for that particular trade. So look for a breakout and a move to the upside if that does occur. Now looking at the U.S. Canadian dollar pair, this, this pair has a potential to move to the upside it is definitely something you want to take a look at. Uh, as you can see, we're hitting some serious, serious resistance. We've tested it once, twice, three times, and now four times without really breaking above it. So uh, when you're looking at this from a breakout standpoint, you have to go back years to find some previous resistance beyond that point, which could be a really good thing if this pair decides to break out to the upside and move higher. We definitely want to look for it to go to the, the 13100 level fairly quick if it does do that and on up beyond that to the 1.3300 level. And if it does tend if it does break or close up, uh, break outside of this resistance area that it's formed, We'll definitely look further into exactly what targets we're going to have and pinpoint the exact uh, exits of these trades. Well, that about does it. Two other trades you may want to look at real quick would be the New Zealand US dollar pair. This pair also formed an inside bar. I'm not going to go into it real in, in real depth, but that's something to take a look at. Also, the Euro Australian dollar created an inside bar today as well. So those are some trades definitely look at. If we get a breakout to the upside, you should be able to see it go to some of these levels depending on uh, you know where it will go. Well, that about does it for the charts. We do have uh, the 
pound releasing their their uh, rate decision today. It was as expected. They did drop rates by 50 basis points, and the eurozone uh, also dropped rates by 50 basis points as expected. Now, looking ahead for tomorrow, we basically have one. Uh, significant news announcement tomorrow. That's the non-farm payroll, the U.S. non-farm payroll for February. That's being released at 8.30 a.m. The consensus is that it has uh, gone further into negative territory from negative 598K down to negative 650K. So definitely keep an eye on that. Um, probably will be negative news for the U.S. dollar. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.